Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today's video is this hairstyle. Now, I'll tell you about it in just a minute. On my last video, I had it, uh, I was wearing it kind of curly and someone asked me to show how I did it. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I appreciate her asking. Uh, this is actually about six hours later. I filmed this and did it early this morning. And I did it and then took it down and then just briefly showed what it looked like. Then I had to go run errands and work and go help my daughter do something and then get ready. We're carving pumpkins this afternoon with more grandchildren. And so, you know, I, I was getting, I was just going and going and going and doing lots of stuff, and running my hands through my hair and stuff like that. And this is what it looks like later, which I'm so tickled. It, it, the frizz is at a minimum for me. The curl is still there. And I think another reason why the curl has lasted so long, because it is still pretty curly. And I even changed my top. I had on a kind of a wool pullover turtleneck. And as you can see, my neck got really irritated. I kept pulling at it and it was rubbing it and it got my neck real irritated. So I took it off because it was starting to itch and put some um, calming lotion on it. And so, then you know, put this on. But long explanation, the reason I think it lasted so long um, with even things pulling up over my head is I did it with a curling wand, but then as when I took the wand out, I would take a clip and clip it to my scalp, just a little duck bill clip. And I don't, I did it all the way around. So I take a piece, I start at the back, take a piece and clip it, take a piece and clip it. And I don't have that many clips, so I usually uh, put several pieces several curls together in one clip. It's kind of like doing a pin curl. And I do that to let it cool down so that it will stay. So when you take it down, at least mine, it is set. I can wear it the same way the next day or I can pull it the top part of it back if it's a little flat or whatever. And then the day after that, I can put it up like in like a faux French twist where I just twist it up and let the top part just kind of flop around. That's <laughs> what I do, let it flop around. But then it's got some curls to kind of bounce, you know, and, and not look quite so stringy. So, and then, you know, shampoo it after that. So I am tickled with how it turned out. And um, I washed it, you know, I've really been keeping the protein down. And I did the nioxin for a while and it's, it was better, but it still quite wasn't where I wanted it to be. And I did notice that it had some, had some biotin in it. And I did read a couple of places where biotin was a protein too. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I read in a couple of places. So I ended up, I, I didn't want to buy anything, so I ended up using the Aveda Sap Moss Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, it seemed to be absent of the buzzwords that I was familiar with that indicated protein and a bit real tickled. Now the Sap Moss Shampoo is terrible about lathering. So my first shampoo, it, it will lather the second shampoo, but it just won't last the, lather the first shampoo. And you keep having to add water and I just get frustrated. So my first shampoo was the Color Conserve. And um, I like this. I like it a lot. I like the Sap Moss better overall, but I like this and it did lather on me. So I would do this first shampoo and then do the Sap Moss shampoo on my second shampoo. And then there, the Sap Moss... Um, it's the weightless hydration conditioner. I did that and finished it off. So, but my my ends, I've you know I've used a curling iron on it, and it's been all day long. Usually, it's brittle and crackling by the end of the day. It is as smooth as it can be, and the ends feel. I swear they even feel. Usually, it's my ends that feel so crackly, but I think my ends feel better than my roots do because I put that. Um, sap moss conditioner on the end so it, it feels good and it held the curl usually it'll go to frizz and not hold the curl and wind has blown it I've run my fingers through it I've just done everything to it and it just has done a good job now I'm not I'm just going to show me doing it maybe put some music behind it maybe not I'll just kind of speed through it 
I told what I did was I take the curling wand. This one is it's pricey now. I, I bought it from Ulta years ago. I do not remember it being that pricey. Well, I know it wasn't, or I wouldn't have bought it. But it's it's gotten pricey now. But it's so any 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 curling wand or curling iron you want to use. I like the one inch that seems to do a pretty nice curl for me. The size of it, I could go bigger and get more of a bend. But I like the curl. And this is the Neuro, Neuro by Paul Mitchell. And like I said, you don't need to go buy this. Just any curling wand. I like the one inch size, like I said, and I like a curling wand that is not tapered because then you get the same, you get more of an S shape pattern instead of it being too curly on the ends and real straight on the top. I just I just kind of like the pattern that this makes. So I do it down this way and I do it down this way on either side and I'll show it. But then I take the iron out of the piece. You know, I'll take a chunk, take the iron out, and then I'll put the, the clip in and clip it to my scalp. So I think that's pretty much it. I'll just go through right now and then go through me take it. I usually, what I usually do is I keep it up in the pins until the curling iron, at least the curling iron has cooled down. And then I fill up the curls and or the pins and if everything feels cool, I'll go ahead and take it down. Now sometimes if I get busy or it takes me longer to put on my makeup or whatever, it'll stay up longer and that's okay too. But when you take it down, if it's too curly, you can kind of pull on it a little bit and, you know, pull it down a little bit. But... Uh, I, I've been real tickled with this method. Now, let me say one thing. It's time consuming. So it's not like something that I could do every day. I have to have a chunk of time. So I can't be going to work real early or anything like that. But if you're going on a special occasion and want to have some nice curl to your hair, uh, this might be something you want to do. Or if you take showers and wash your hair at night the night before, you might have time to do it the next morning. I've gotten faster. So I can probably do it now in about 10 minutes. Uh, maybe not even that long. I, I'll have to time myself sometime. But I can just zip it, zip, you know, because I just hold it up in this wand for about eight seconds. But I'm going to show me doing it all the way through, but speed it up. And then I'll take it down. And then what I usually do is do my head upside down and kind of just spread my fingers apart and, you know, kind of, mess it up, you know, run it through and break up the curls a little bit. If you have a lot of frizz, you can add like some, you know, Moroccan oil or something like that. Just a, a drop and, you know, do your, whatever kind of oil works for you and, you know, kind of run it through your fingers where it's not greasy, but then you can kind of break it up that way and the oil kind of keeps it from, keeps the frizz factor down a lot, but I'm tickled with the direction my hair is going. And I, I kind of wanted to follow up on this last video and tell you, um, this is what I'm using right now. I'm not saying that I'm gonna stay with it, the Aveda, but I'm enjoying it right now. The Curl Control Shampoo, the Moss Sap Shampoo, and the Moss Sap Conditioner. Um, I feel very comfortable with them. And so, that's all the pro, and I still use on my scalp the nioxin leave-in around my hairline because that's where my main hair loss is and kind of some a little bit up here on the crown. So anyway, before I get started on it, I, what I do is I'll take about four pieces on the crown and, and you'll see that. I tease the root just a tiny bit and do about two little sprays on it. This is the Redken Fashion Work 12. Uh, I think they quit making it. Last time I looked, I couldn't find it. I'll look again, but you know, any light, light, moving hairspray, a working hairspray will work. I like this one. I, I'll find another one, but I did like this one. And I do that, and before I get started on, you know, doing the heat on it, and that gives it kind of time to dry. So anyway, that's a big explanation, but that's what's going on right now. So uh, I'm going to show you right now that I'll film the um, wind up to it and then I'll, get, I'll try to get this up before I do pumpkins. I have to say I do pretty elaborate pumpkins and um, I will show 
Sometime I will show the pumpkins that we have done. Um, I'm working with my grandkids and you know we use the stencils and I've taught them how to how to do it and stuff like that. So they're really been making some nice pumpkins and nice designs. So uh, I, I think I'm going to try, I may not this year, I don't know if I'm going to have time, but one time I'm going to do faces and see because I'm starting to do shading you know on the pumpkins too. So anyway so that's what's coming up with us. So I you know, hope you enjoy it. I forgot to say, but um, I got the idea to do this from watching Harmony. Her YouTube channel is Harmonized Butte, and I think that's her Instagram too, but I'll make sure I link it below. But I'll talk through this just kind of off and on, but mainly I'll just speed it up and let you watch. The first thing I do is kind of tease the crown and then spray it with some spray. Then I divide it in half and just work on one side at a time. I usually start at the back, but you don't have to. And I hold the wand down and just wrap it around. It's just real easy and self-explanatory to do. You hold it about five to eight seconds, wad it up, or I kind of don't wad it. I do it like a pin curl, and then just put my clip on it and go to the next one. And then I usually just kind of stick it up on the one that I've just done. I usually do about two of them per clip. So it's just pretty self-explanatory. So I'll just kind of speed it up. And if I see something I think I need to comment on, then I'll, I'll uh, stop it and make a comment. Okay, then I start at the back on the other side. Honestly, I couldn't even justify fast forwarding through this side over here because it's the same as the other side. So I'm just going to show a few of me pinning it up using the curling iron and then I'm just going to delete the rest and show you how it looks at the end. Okay, there it is, and I'm gonna let it cool. I left a lot of this footage in because I wanted you all to see how much I fooled with it and it still didn't get frizzy, which is kind of amazing for me. Uh, I, first, I did it upside down, ran my fingers through it. Then I tried to part it, and then I ran my fingers through it. Uh, and I ended up putting on my earrings, seeing how that looked. Still didn't, you know, wasn't sure. I'm very insecure about my hair. And so I fiddled with it and fiddled with it and shushed up the roots and ran my fingers, Did worked on my bangs some, then... Is that it? Nope, nope. I had to go back and I, I thought I would straighten it some more and pull and pull on it. So you can kind of see how much I fiddle with it, but it still did not frizz. So I was happy. 
Okay, so it is like six hours later. My hair has held up. It is windy today. It is kind of misting rain. Uh, the curl has loosened some, but not a whole terribly bunch. I think clipping it to let it cool down really, really helps it to last a long time. It isn't frizzy. I will be able to wear it wavy. It won't be quite as much tomorrow. The next day, I'll be able to put it up into a clip and wear it that way, or I can do a half up, half down. Um, it is time consuming, but if you don't shampoo your hair ever, uh, very much, you know, very often, then you can probably get away with doing it, you know, wearing it this way a whole lot. But I, I can usually get away with it. Uh, you know, I can usually get a bunch of days uh, wear out of, you know, my hair being this way. I mean, it just, it'll just bounce right back and the curl bounce right back. It feels really, really healthy. So anyway, that's my video. I know it's going to be kind of long. I'll try to speed it up, but thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if I don't talk to you, I'm going to try to do a, another video before Halloween. I swear it's just been real busy this week. I think I told you all, but just in case my daughter and son-in-law are doing, I think I just told people on Instagram, they're doing a big play right now. They have rehearsals. It starts soon. And so they're in rehearsals just pretty much after supper until about 10 or 11 at night. So I've got the kids uh, from, uh, you know, right after supper until, until they go to bed. So it doesn't leave me a whole lot of time right now. But anyway, it won't be for very long and then I'll be back to normal. So... Hang in there with me. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Everybody take care. Stay safe. Um, I sure appreciate you all so much and love you all and see you soon. Bye-bye.